All right, let's begin by clicking the new button in the media tab and selecting composite shot. The default settings work fine for me, but you may want to increase the duration depending on how long you want your line to display for. In your composite shot, click the new layer button and select plane. Then I'm just going to click the white color button to make my line white, but you can use the color picker if you want a different color. Okay, now open up your plane's transform settings. Click the link next to scale to turn off uniform scaling. Decrease the scale's second value to about 2 or 3% to make a line out of your plane. Alright, now that we have a line, let's start by animating it to grow from the middle. Change the scale's first value to 0. Then click the circle next to scale to create a certain keyframe. Move the time head to where you want your line to be drawn by. Increase the scale's first value to the length you want your line, which will create an ending keyframe. Okay, now when I play this back, the line animates. But let's say you want to draw your line from the left or the right. To draw your line from left to right, decrease the anchor point's first value until it lines up with the green arrow. And you can move it around and it will still animate correctly. To animate from right to left, you just drag the anchor point's first value until the right side of your line matches up with the green arrow. Okay, now I'm going to delete my line's keyframes to show you how to animate from the top or bottom. Change the scale's first value to 1 or 2% based on how thick you want your line, and then set the second value to 0. Click the circle next to scale to create a certain keyframe. Move the time into where you want your line to be drawn by. Increase the scale's second value to the length you want your line. And now our line animates vertically from the middle. To get your line to animate from the top or bottom, either increase or decrease the anchor point's second value until it matches up with your red arrow. And of course, you can reposition it and the animation will still work. Finally, to add your line to your timeline, just go back to the editor and drag the line onto your timeline from the media area. Alright, and that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you next time.